Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Nexus. Playing today spawning on the left, we have Scipio playing as Osir, who has Blitzkrieg, Ostrupin, and Jaeger Infantry. Let's go and some on the right. We have Roll playing as Soviets. Straight away going for airborne troops. In terms of rankings, both players around rank 100 with their respective factions. So, uh, interesting build here. Roll going for a uh, second squad of combat engineers very early on, which we did see, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, during the Mass League. But I feel like specifically with airborne troops, the four conscript style is still the way to go. So these VT conscripts are so powerful. That being said, now they do arrive at two command points instead of one. Only slows down that monstrous power spike. Just trying to go for a wee bit of a flank here. Another squad of conscripts coming in so that as the pyros try close the distance, they're going to be outnumbered. And he's forced away from the far side. MG having a bit of trouble finding an angle here. Is about to get forced away here. Looks like he's trying to get rid of the combat engineers, but just can't quite do enough damage. Could maybe even have uh, got the wipe there potentially. Slight miss micro there from Roll, sending the combat engineers forward accidentally instead of capturing the cutoff. Double green is coming out from this side for Scipio. Still holding on to a decent chunk, but yes, so far the MG42 hasn't really been active. And if that's the case as us there, you know, generally you're having a bit of trouble in the early game. One of your units is completely ineffective like this. Fourth grade here picked up from Scipio. So if he wants to plan to go for the super fast 222, that will be delayed. But maybe it's an okay build order, given that he is losing control of his fuel right here. A little bit low on territory. Might be delayed anyway. Keep your heads down. There you go, the conscripts. MG pushing in finally. Conscript squad behind the sandbag down here, gonna be tough to dislodge. But there we go, Scipio regaining territory control. Has had a uh, tough go of it so far though. Very poor territory control. And active with this greedy here as well. Should be like capping over here or something. But yeah, the machine gun positioning so far, quite weak for Scipio. The main reasons for his slow start. Bunker coming down in the base for Scipio now. Tier 2 down for Roll, also has the medics. Oh, and for very early anti-tank grenades here as well. Interesting choice. In terms of needing them for anti-tank, definitely won't be the case. You know, with those delays I talked about. Poor territory control for Scipio. Gone for the fourth green here as well. Though sometimes if you're playing, it can be tough to get a read on whether they've gone for three or four squads if you don't see them all on the map at the same time. Asian Flamer looking for a bit of a flank. Push on to the munitions cutoff here with the Grenadiers. LMG squad trying to get behind heavy cover. Do have the flamethrower there though. MG42 has pushed in. This is exactly what you want. Good suppression there. Oh, bad idea retreating that LMG Grenadier. I think you should have turned it around and start blasting this. Mm. So yeah, so far the MG control not... Terribly strong for Scipio. Again, in that scenario, I think he, if he left that LMG Grenadier there, 
suppress the second conscript squad instead of just leaving all the fire onto the combat engineer and pinning it. I think he could have held that position. Lost his nerve though. But yeah, he's feel, falling further and further behind. Lost control of his cutoff. Lost control of the fuel point now as well. Poor start. Well, we don't see these so often, but did deploy some uh, airborne guards. Now available at two command points instead of three. Makes them quite a lot more accessible. Which I think makes sense, given the regular guards also come in at the same timing. Upgrade them with the PPSHs though. It's kind of interesting. Quite rare to see them in that role, but maybe this earlier timing can be a bit more effective. Grenade onto the machine gun. Pretty good connection there, looking for the wipe. Grenadiers jump out of the building, trying to maximize their damage. If all four rifles firing and yeah. Do we end up forcing away the airborne guards? No wipe on the machine gun. 222 coming through now, but yeah, quite a late time in close to eight minutes now. Definitely delayed for Scipio and uh, very, very poor territory control at the moment. On the back of those engagements. Could also pay to have a sweeper on his Pioneer if he hasn't already upgraded with the flamethrower here. Already have the anti-tank grenades for roll, remember, so this is maybe uh, not going to go too well for Scipio. Cancels the Molotov, throws the anti-tank grenades. Those are on the other side of the map as well, so repairs for that are going to be very, very slow. CT conscripts coming forwards. Yeah, maybe wanting to get a rifle grenade off there. He's kind of posturing for it. Didn't quite have the munitions though. Looks around the corner with the green ears, dodging the Molotov. So the pies are going to get forced away here though. Green ears kind of working their way into the retreat path. Not going to be able to get the kill. Second flamer, double flamers for roll. A little bit risky. Always have to worry about those mines. So generally not advisable. But T70 coming through. Speaking of mines, one back there for roll. MG Green is just blasting away here. The Vet 2, so they got that accuracy bonus. And they are just spitting out so much damage because of that. Big power spike for them there. Evil guards could maybe sneak. Do they have moving camo? Camouflage? <laughs> I'm not even sure. This is moving or stationary. That's how a little I've used them personally. Okay, here comes the T70 though, we do have the pack out for Scipio, does have the uh, pack bull time bulletin. T70 also may be arriving a, a touch late, but not too bad. Like decent timing uh, for generally, but maybe a touch late given the way that the game's gone so far. Oh, there we go, a little bit of damage onto the T70, gonna need some repairs now. 222 getting involved here. You have to be careful. Auto cannon could very easily do a lot of friendly fire damage to him there. Most cool on the green is they do get away though. Now sweep out now for Scipio. Nice to see. Finds that mine. 222 getting some nice work down and a good pushback here for Scipio. Pushing away that T70. Got a lot more territory control all of a sudden. Mass LMGs on all of the green deers, helping them fight back here. His roll uh, just about fully upgraded now himself. Just one constant squad without weapons, but might be saving that for the Civ Man upgrade later on. 
Could be a good time to get a telemine down. Up, up around here would be like a nice position for it, I think. Gotta, you know, try spot those things if you're up against double flamers like that. A bit of pressure on the pack here. to softening up the conscripts. I'm not going to chase him any further though. Just see what going to work on the green is. Oh wow. I'm surprised the conscripts were in range for that one there. Price coming out from base. Our phase 2 is complete for Scipio. Hasn't locked into his commanders yet. Probably the time has passed for Ostrupin, so likely see one of the other two. Hard to go wrong with our Jaeger infantry at the moment. Seems to be the dominant 1v1 commander outside of Ostrupin. Guards. Okay, it looks like maybe they don't have moving camo. Grenades. Ooh, just dodging at the last second there. Don't think it would have got the wipe anyway. It would have been very, very close. Good reactions though from Scipio up there. Maybe a touch slow roll coming around the corner after throwing the grenade. Didn't get much PPSH follow up there. Dishka coming in now for a roll. Could find himself in a bit of a manpower bind here though. So if you're getting close to that medium tank timing. He's going for a second pyro squad maybe to put down his tech and you can see he's very close to a medium tank. His roll is still a lot of manpower away from an anti-tank gun. Oh boy but actually he's got his tier 4 coming up. Actually cancels it though, well not cancels it, but interrupts it here accidentally it looks like. So actually pretty close to a medium tech timing himself. Which is uh, usually not the case, you know, just seem to be quite a lot more expensive. 222 usually slows you down a bit. But with that really strong start the roll has. Able to get this going quite quickly here. <laughs> Combat engineers come back to finish their job. Probably would have been faster to, to retreat and then give the order to. Uh... Oh boy, this could be trouble. Okay, quick reactions, dodging back there. Just get coming into position. 222 slightly out of range though, pops the AP ammo. But 222 is vet 2, he's got that long line of sight. Not gonna drive into the dishka there head on. Just got squeaking around the side of the machine gun. It's taking a uh, big chunk of damage. And this could, does actually end up spraying him a little bit as he drives through. Script's maybe looking for the wipe here. No. Gotta work on this greedy squad. Can throw the Molotov here via very quick actions. Looks like he's queuing that up before they even finish jumping into the building. Send the green ears out. Guard's going for an ambush again. We have lost a machine gun crew. Oh, the Dishka goes down. The double LMG green ears knock it out the there. PPSH guards coming through, forcing back the anti tank gun. And now they're calling in the uh, anti infantry strafe, the Vet 1 ability. Takes another pack shot. It's on the move now, so I, I'm not really sure what happened to the disc there. Didn't see if it got death looped or if he just forgot to retreat it, but either way, what a turnaround there for Scipio. To a very slow start. And I think a large part of it is uh, so far this T70 just hasn't been that effective for a roll. See, only two kills at the moment. 
for about six minutes of being on the field. Not really what you want for your T70. T34 coming in for roll and uh, pretty close to the resources for another T34 as well. Could try and go for that 211 overwhelm style. No, it looks like he's going to go for the Zis instead. Definitely the safer option. But yeah, so far those uh, airborne guards, he's been trying to use them a lot. But I feel like those haven't been that strong, right? It seems like they need a little bit too much manpower. Trying to use them as a close quarter squad. Could be maybe uh, doing some conscript mergers in as well. Try and conserve a touch of manpower. Yeah, dropping in uh, SVTs, another set of SVTs. I mean, the SVTs are strong all game, but. I think uh, when you're kind of like this late in the game, you're starting to switch over maybe a bit more into team weapon play. That's where the seven man conscripts can really excel. Being able to like jump on a D crew team weapon, merge and then retreat. Having like a full strength team weapon immediately, very, very helpful. The, the reinforcement cost. Uh oh. Oh boy, Panzer IV, that's a massive mistake. Being too aggressive coming after the. T-34, T-34 though exposing his rear armor here, some poor vehicle control and the two T-70 went down as well. Wow. Roll, that was, oh that was not good. That was uh, that was on a platter the Panzer IV there. Oh boy, and now the LMG's going to work here. This is going to get away, but boy, it took a lot of damage. T-34 coming back in. Very risky. Pack, second pack for Scipio right here. So now he's got the classic 1v1 setup. Double machine gun, double anti-tank gun. Very tricky to overcome that kind of setup. But yeah, roll. I guess getting a little bit overwhelmed there with the loss of the T-70. What he really needed to do was, first off, not expose the rear arm of the T-34. Second off, hit a second anti-tank grenade. He had two conscripts nearby. Second anti-tank grenades, so the Panzer IV would have gone down to just one more shot. But I uh, got a little bit overwhelmed there, it seemed. Didn't end up getting the kill. Still would have required some RNG, though. We would have had to get one shot to penetrate from the T-34 on the frontal armor out of three. Not guaranteed to happen. If you were firing from you know, close to max range like it would have been. It's more like a 50-50 getting through the armor. Oh boy. Trying to dodge away now, but the models on the gun keep getting sniped. Slowing down. Pull back off the anti-tank gun there. Setting up on the Panzer IV now. One shot connecting. So he's going to cut his losses. Try to pull back here. A squad of infantry has been oh boy. Death and the airborne guards go down out the side. Oh no. It's all falling to pieces here for roll. And now Scipio. What a turnaround. Key thing is, he hasn't lost anything. He hasn't lost a squad of grenadiers. He hasn't lost any of his team weapons. And because of that, in a commanding position. Roll with the anti-tank gun positioning. Hasn't uh, been super strong so far. 2 2 spotting the T-34 coming in. Takes two hits. It's 
got the vet 2 on that pack so really good rate of fire does indeed lock into Ostrupen. confusing <laughs> not entirely sure why he did this with so much munitions here the stupid close air support would close the show here oh boy the pack getting greedy here pushing forwards he's going to drop the railway artillery try to prevent the steel 2 2 2 goes down to the Zis. Railway artillery coming down. Will either player be able to jump back onto this pack? Do have the pack right there that could kill it. If he so chooses. It's ready 5 coming out for roll. So the Pies are going to brave the situation, jump onto it. <clears throat> not able to shut it down so Scipio regathers Oscar's worst standing around the corner there could have maybe prevented that a little bit Put this on to secure mode here disengaging there are two panzer fours two anti-tank guns so roll gonna have a tough time gets that much anti-tank with this t-34 pays to play quite conservatively with it back on the far side for Scipio it's 35 over here as well Maybe expecting a Panzer IV rotation. Not the case though. Just the pack at the moment. S35 can't do much about that. Double Flamers trying to close the distance here. This is where I thought the SU85 would stay in the center. Maybe turn on focus sight mode. Start blasting away at that Panzer IV from long range. But instead rotated to the bottom here. Four. Looks like it's going to try wrap around here. Maybe open up on this machine gun. Oh, well, does manage to get a Molotov on the corner of the building. Looks like it wasn't doing any health damage though. MG jumps out, sets up. Conscripts, no Ura. Do manage to sneak around the side though. That was a close call. Now the machine gun going down ultra fast. Coming back in, takes a pack shot. Oh boy, can't jump on the machine gun now. Drops down in terms of models. Oh, still on four models over here. And you on the ground. Looks like Roll really wants to go and pick that bad boy up. Four man conscript squad trying to work their way across there. Bands of four down here, and this is where the S-85 being at the bottom can really help. But the T-34 a little bit far away here. Conscripts jump onto the machine gun. Panzer four there. Two shots in. Will he? No. Can't get away with it. Back in here. Gonna stop the S-35 from chasing. Yeah, T-34 didn't uh, assist in any way. MG probably now. Scipio's to recrew. So I might pay to just destroy this with the S-35 as this combo. Meanwhile, the uh, double flamers making some waves through the center. But the good rotation there from the Panzer Fort shuts that down real fast. MG just camped in this building over here at the moment. Haven't seen much action in the north for quite some time. And SU-85 is going to destroy the MG-42. Which I think is reasonable. Bit of a shame he couldn't crew it, but he tries. Spear now has put down tier 4, which is why we haven't seen anything for him for some time. In fact, it looks like he also only half constructed it. Got back to finish that off now. Second T34, meanwhile, full roll. 
Very close to the rocket run as well. Still got that one telemine there. Checking a look for any other telemines. Don't see any at the moment. But they could easily be an issue for roll. No sweepers still. Loads of munitions for Scipio. Just maybe hasn't found the time to plant those telemines. Those pioneers, but... Definitely... Uh, yeah, could be a massive, massive issue. It's something you have to be very aware of when you're trying to play this kind of style. This mine's okay. There is actually a second one up there. Which is a very nice position for a mine, honestly. Common flanking route. See if we can jump out of the building in time here. Luckily those shots not actually doing too much health damage to the building. It does get out of there in time. Close call though, here come the Panzer fours. Got a Zis though. In a nice position to open up on their rear armor here. Conscripts. Don't pull the trigger on the Ura anti-tank grenade. Might be able to get one anti-tank grenade off anyway. There they go, T-34's coming around the corner. Could be a dead grenade here, looking for the wipe. Conscripts chasing in. Pack in a compromised position now as well. So he's trying to push through the center, go for the Panzer IV kill. He's ready, five, busting through down the bottom. Finally gets the kill. Railway artillery out the back here. But the uh, T-34s are continuing the push. It's a tank grenade connecting there, but not doing engine damage. Panzer IV coming in with a bit of a flank. One of the T-34s very, very weak. Goes for the ram, though. Backs out and then comes back in with the ram. Another T-34 on the rear arm of the Panther. He's ready. Five goes down to the pack. But the uh, Panzer IV goes down as well. Can this T-34 survive, though? It's going to be tough backing around this pack. Got a couple flamer squads could come in to assist. Faust connects. Can survive one more pack shot here. Communities have a very fast cooldown on their Panzer Faust though. One more Faust can also finish the job. Oh, squad down. Airborne guards again. No sooner did he get them. Oh, and the conscripts down as well. Real shame that he didn't bring in the flamethrower squads. Maybe could have prevented the uh, Grandiers from getting those Fausts off there. A little bit overwhelmed seemed to be for Roll. Overall, it was a pretty good sequence from him. Taking out the, the Panther, the double Panzer IVs. If he kept that T-34 alive, uh, probably would have been okay for him overall. Looks like he built a Maxim. Interesting. But yeah, Scipio in a better position, I'd say, uh, after all that. Oh, actually, maybe not. I didn't notice that pack steal. Roll managed to get away with the pack down here, I think it was. So that's actually pretty huge. There goes the trench now as well. Still a little bit light on infantry as well. Which could hurt him a bit, you know, especially as the VP war heats up. Down 85 VPs. Doesn't have that much to cap and fight with. Maybe the uh, T-34s can substitute in the capping department once they hit VET-1 with the secure mode. Oh boy. Back under some pressure. Panzer IV looking to finish it off here. Oh, good hit from the T-34 though. Those six-man weapon teams. Very, very durable. Oh, he sticks around for the rifle nade and it costs him his life. I think that's the first Green Deer loss for Scipio. He's pushing in. Connecting. T-34 
Just get going to work on the Zis. This barrage clearing it out. Ooh. Oh, gets outright destroyed there. Pack coming in from the north. Connects once. Oh boy, now Scipio's in some trouble. Grenadier and machine gun down all of a sudden. What a turnaround. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Rebuild on the conscripts. This time I'm going to go for the seven man. I think with that Zis as well, it pays to bring it all the way back to the medics. Just reinforcing it, still quite low in health overall, so I think that's the right decision. Nothing desperate happening on the map in terms of uh, fighting at the moment either, so just need to get back on the field instantly. Trench is getting turned against Sapio a little bit here. Stalling out for a while. Oh boy, what was that? Jumped out of the trench, didn't hit retreat, and the conscript squad goes down. Is that a fresh MG42? Looks like it. I do remember that, you know, because Sipio has tech tier 4, does have the uh, bonus to reduce uh, reinforcement costs. So it can help you in these uh, long grinding games. Generally not worth it to tick tier 4 just to get that bonus. But you know, to feel the panther. Trench going down, covering the centre here. Makes it very tricky to push forwards. Double anti tank guns though. Got to work on the trench. And actually connecting shot after shot on it, destroying it very quickly there. Those are four wrapping around, slightly out of pack range here. Maybe coming in for a couple hits. Take rounds, perhaps. We're missing. Clears out the trenches and now roll in position in the center. Second Panther coming in though. Rebuild on that for Scipio. Roll. Does have the double anti tank guns though, and they're pretty powerful against the Panther, especially uh, the Vet 2 Zis. Another T 34 coming in for roll. Could be like maybe a reasonable time for a broom beer, honestly, but it's quite a risky choice to do that. So I can understand going for the panther. Grenade there, clearing out the mine. I suppose especially because he only has one anti-tank gun at the moment. Conscripts getting a good flank here on this MG. Do have another Telemine over here for Scipio, so two like right next to each other. The Brumbia is, you know, quite vulnerable to the Ram Rocket Run combo. This doesn't have a turret. It's reasonably slow as well. This is something to keep in mind. Clear out the sandbags here. Pies do have the extra little bit of line of sight. Just allowing him to target them there. Oh, maybe those were just attack rounds. This is Barrage. Going to work on the double greens. Dodging away from it reasonably well, though. Double Pies making a bit of a charge ball oh, that. T-34 was chopping them down really quickly there. Oh, rifle nade clears out one of the combat engineers. Double rifle nades. In fact, Scipio 
I had a large munitions float burning through most of it all of a sudden. Panzer IV trying to come in, but the double anti tank guns are right there. MG Green is trying to chop away at that Zis. Now, all the rifle nade now. Oh, but that's onto the pack. The pack not doing too much. Attack round just missing there. Zis goes down. Panther coming back in. Oh, Panther getting cold feet though. Maybe could have killed this T34 if he chased in. Coming back in. Pack has pushed all the way forwards here. Pack. Ooh, two minds about what to do. Six going to pull back. No machine gun upgrade yet on the Panther, so quite poor in the anti infantry department. So, but that could have been the game closer there for Scipio, honestly. I feel like if he charged him with the Panther, he could have finished off this T 34. They had the Green Ears there. Continued pressure the other pack. But uh, instead, the game marches on. Did get away with that Panzer IV though. That was a close call with the attack ground. Got the rocket run ready now for roll. The connection there. Only one combat engineer for repairs now, so a little bit slow in that department. And uh, Roll making an interesting choice here. Gonna go for the Katusha. Another Panzer IV for Scipio, so that could be trouble. Two T-34s. Those anti-tank guns get caught out of position. Could quite easily get overwhelmed here. Him. You know, we don't have a huge amount of team weapons at the moment. Oh no, that T-34, wow. Nasty shot, Grandier down. Right as he's retreating. Unfortunate for Scipio there. Well, he's done a good job holding on to the VPs. Trained out about 20. The time that Scipio's lost about, maybe like 120. Double Panzer IVs on Panther though, it's a lot of tanks. Double anti-tank guns are also not fully reinforced, so they are at risk of getting decrewed. Double Pies trying to go for the capture here. Oh, good shot from the Panzer IV. So how is Scipio going to work this one? Go down. Gonna try and plant some mines. Oh, yeah, over there, interesting. Chusha is in position here, waiting for something. Do the green deer, maybe. Oh, there's a four triggers on the mine. Supported by the Panther, though, pretty safe. Oh, triggers on the other mine that just finished planting. Double engine damage. Panther, though, shrugging off all the damage. 234, maybe think about the ram. Getting a little bit too close to go for the ram. He's going to call on the rockets. Panzer 4 misses the killing blow. Panther drives forwards. Oh, max range. The Panther finishes the job on the T-34. It was a nice move from Scipio, driving forwards, dodging the rockets, finishing off the T-34 there. Calling some uh, railway artillery. Could be the end of the Panzer IV though. Oh! Pack goes down and the Zis misses the killing blow. Heartbreaker for roll. Stays alive and the conscripts go down. Wow, it's all going wrong for Roll here. I think, he, you know, against the Panther like that, I think he had to go for the Ram with that T 34 if he wanted that rocket run to connect. And 
now a uh, collapse for roll. Lost a lot. Katusha did fire, didn't really see it, only got one kill though. This gets destroyed. No anti tank guns anymore for roll. Really down the dumps. 46 versus 83. Now I'm about to get uh, triple cap potentially. Grandy's capping in the bottom. Going for the center now. Rebuild on the T34. And uh, once this is cooled down, it doesn't have enough munitions for another rocket run. Sapio out back repairing up the tanks. about back up to full strength only one conscript squad now so really limits the snare options for roll could make life very difficult for him but he's coming down to the bottom another panzer 4 for Scipio here T-34's gonna look for the wipe here Panther's nearby a little bit slow going for the chase the thing with the T-34s is you always have to try face their, the front towards the enemy since that hull gun on them is so strong in terms of the DPS. You're missing out on a tremendous amount if you don't have your T-34 facing off. So in that scenario, you know, as you drove forwards there, as they were treating it to spin the T-34s to face Green Ears if he's hoping for the white. So you decide to disengage though. T-34s is thinking about coming in on the flank here. And they're exposing the rear armor. Connect with the uh, wreck and a bit of a traffic jam now. There's a four pushing in as well. And they're making a move. He's calling in the rockets. They're able to drive right past it. And yet another Panzer IV coming in now. And all of the Panzer IVs, oopsie daisy, <laughs> swarming in. Nice to go for a heroic ram to finish things off there, but nope. And then he throws in the town. So Scipio, I think getting a little bit lucky there, you know, there was that uh, Panzer IV escaping one shot over here. Edge tank gun nearly finishing off, and then similar story over here. The Zis missing the killing blow on it is getting decrewed just in time. Close call there for Scipio, could have gone the other way. Roll maybe losing a bit of patience there towards the end, <clears throat> kind of throwing away a couple units, but overall, you know, good back and forth action. <clears throat> Very hard to tell who's going to win this one throughout the entire match, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, roll with a strong start, Scipio stronger mid game. Yeah, reasonable action. GG. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.